the last video we looked at the wide open performance of the 14140 lens with the LA7200. Now we're going to look at the lens in a different environment. Outside, stop down to f11 at first, and in this first set of examples, it's focused to infinity, with the subject being around 8 feet away. You can see that the edges are slightly blurry, very, very little. But as we zoom in, you'll see that they'll start to begin to fall apart a little bit more. Here at 25 millimeter, it's again like the low light tests, uh, 35 even more so. In the next sample, the focus is set to 8 feet. From here, you're going to see what it looks like at all the same focal lengths, but now at a different focus distance. Okay, now we're focused on the car. The background is out of focus at 50 millimeter. At 35 millimeter, they both start to come into focus. At 25 and beyond, it seems like everything is now in focus, but uh, now the edges aren't as blurry. Okay, in this third sample, we're going to take a look at the same thing, but now stop down even further. Now we're at f18 doing the same thing. Uh, the focus is on the car uh, around six feet away. Uh, as you see as we zoom in, um, the edges remain acceptable on both the car and on the scenery, which would be much different if we were focused at infinity. The focus plane seems to vary depending on what the focus distance is. It seems like the, the edges are at a different focal distance compared to the center of the frame. And so in order to balance this and get the best picture out of the LA7200, you need to find a balance between the minimum distance and the maximum infinity distance at an f-stop that allows both of them to come together. And that'll give you a fairly solid focus across the frame if you're using it outdoors, if you're using it to shoot architecture or events, wildlife, or any other type of outdoor nature scene.